is it worth writing a book to make money? Now, because I do a lot of work in self-publishing, I would say yes, a book is something you should do to make money from. But there are some caveats to that. First of all, um, no author, whether that's fiction writing or non-fiction writing, is ever going to retire on one book. You know, there may be those old classics like, you know, um, Moby Dick or all those different ones from years and years ago with Treasure Island that have probably been bestsellers for years and years and years. But the authors are long gone and I don't know who gets the profits from those books. But in those cases, those books were probably profitable. Again, they probably weren't profitable at the time, but over the lo long kind of scheme of things, I assume somebody who has copyright or ownership of those works probably gets a roy royalties check every so often from the sales of those books. So even though those books have, might have made money in the long run, maybe on one issue of a book, not everybody can rely on that. And there's no reason why you should, you know, set yourself up to rely on one uh, income stream. So as I said, um, if you are thinking, well, you know, is writing a book worth my while? In that case, yes it is. But rather than one book, think about writing multiple books. And if you can do them in a series, all the better. Now, if you imagine if Netflix ha was relying on one TV show to keep their business going or the door open, you know, somebody would watch that video or that TV show, watch the one episode, and then if there wasn't anything that left on Netflix for them to watch, they would simply just jump off and go somewhere else for entertainment. But as you're probably aware, Netflix create content in box sets. And there's a reason they create content in box sets. And that's because they want you to stay as long as possible on their website. And that's something you want to think about when you are writing books. Again, fiction, non-fiction, doesn't matter. You need to have that mindset of box sets. How can I get my reader from this book into another book, into another book, and into another book? So that may mean maybe taking that first book idea that you had done um, breaking it down into parts and then writing maybe a book on each part or that might mean if you have like a romance book rather than having only one character in one family like one girl or whatever that needs to get married have a, you know three or four sisters or sisters and their friends or generations of women that all need you know a spouse or need someone in their lives so again you're not relying on one character to carry your um, your series. You've got a whole family, you've got friends, relations, and that box set grows. So as I said, you are getting your reader to finish one book, jump into the next one, jump into the next one, and then on to the next one. And that was something I did years ago when I had done my Minecraft books. I had three characters that would go through a whole lot of different adventures. So they went from one book into another one, into another one. Each book was a completely kind of independent event, uh, adventure but there was still a kind of underlying um, threat in the background that was going on so the person would jump from book to book to book and in this case I had a 17 book box set of these Minecraft books so a lot of people who had read them would go you know from book to book to book so they would do the read the full 17 books now as I said when I started off I thought one book would do well and while it will you know do well in the charts it will make you some money Eventually time is going to kick in your audience probably will have read Everything that you've written which is the one book and they'll go off looking for some other author So you need to have something fresh for their eyeballs to catch on to and to stay with you So that's one thing you need to think about now If for example, maybe you just want to write one book and you want to make money off it You need to think outside of the book You know at the end of the day you might be if you're a, a new author you know, you're probably selling your book maybe for seven, eight, ten dollars maybe for paperback, or maybe you're selling it maybe for three or four dollars as a Kindle book. So, in that case, you know, you aren't going to make much money off that book in the long run. You know, even if you sold a thousand copies, which is fantastic, you're probably only looking at maybe three or four thousand dollars from the Kindles and you know, maybe ten thousand or whatever from book sales on the paperbacks. That's if you're lucky to sell a thousand copies of your book. So, rather than relying on the book sales think outside that what else can you build to
to go with that, that you could clip onto it. You know, if you go into summer, I, I, <laughs> this is something I'm always mentioning to my list. If you go into somewhere like uh, McDonald's, you know, you never walk in and say, um, just give us a burger and that's it. You know, that counter staff have been trained to try and get a ring as much money out of you as possible. So they will say to you, do you want a Coke with that? Uh, do you want fries with that? Do you want this with that? Do you want that with that? And then all of a sudden your order builds up and builds up. So, you know, if McDonald's just sold one item to you, they wouldn't be profitable for very long. And, you know, they'd probably go bust. But, so I want you to think about your single book like that. If you are only going to write maybe one non-fiction book because you haven't got it in you to write a second one or you just after going through the first book you just don't want to be arsed writing a second one there's too much effort it took too much out of you which i can understand um think then what can you do with that book you know a lot of people will read a non-fiction book on different topics and you know they may glance through the book but they're probably not going to take any action sorry the sun's shining on the camera there they're probably not going to take much action on your book so for example you know they may read the chapter they may like the 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 training in that chapter but by the time they get to the end of the book and close it up a lot of that stuff has probably gone out of their head and you know for the majority of people who would read a book straight through the first time it's very rare unless something is really really good that somebody will read through twice three times or more to get the full value out of that book the majority of people just read a book once and it's tossed on the pile and they're off to reading another book so when you think about that if you are trying to teach somebody how to do something you can't rely on a book to be the best way to do it so in that case then you need to think about creating a course which is of more um, value in that the person can maybe watch you uh, describe what you were doing in the chapter how they can see you maybe over the shoulder video explaining why you do the things the way you do or you could have some kind of slideshow where you could reinforce the message or um, something that will make that book more profitable to them so that you get they're guaranteed to take the actions that they need to do and they'll follow through on the message in your book so think about maybe creating uh, some kind of training course take maybe a chapter of each book and that could be turned into a single video so if you had maybe a, a 10 chapter book that could be a 10 video training course that you could ch charge more money for them, you know or if you wanted to again i'm reading uh content 10x at the moment which is about repurposing there's no reason why you can't repurpose that content from that book into another format there's no reason why you can't have your own podcast well you take maybe a tip or a topic from your non-fiction book and turn that into a podcast episode so people can listen in to you now again you could do this as a free podcast or you could do it as a paid podcast or if you were doing it free you could maybe have some advertisements in it so you're making some money on the free episodes so you're actually making more money from the same content in your book or you know you could maybe do one-on-one -on -one. you know you probably have your level where somebody is introduced to your business at the book the next step up for them is the, the training course where they are being shown in more detail over the shoulder or whatever how to do the things in the book and then you could have your higher level then so you could have one-on-one -on -one where you are working individually with you know a reader and you're walking them through the whole process of how you made that money or how you got that topic done or how you lost that weight or whatever it is that you are going through in your fiction book so in that case then you know having a book one book is profitable that way but not in the form that you maybe think it is and don't look at it as you know what the book itself think outside the book how can you expand on it add to it you know go into more knowledge the more knowledge you go in and the more advice and the more hands-on that you are with your your readers the more you can charge money for them you know as i said you could maybe sell a book for a paperback book maybe ten dollars you could have a training course that could be two three four hundred dollars for somebody to buy it to find out more information about how to put that that book into action and then you could have maybe a one-on-one -on -one coaching program or group coaching where you could maybe charge them maybe a thousand dollars a month or even more so they'll have full access to you if they have any questions on the book or something maybe isn't clear to them you can explain it to them you can show them exactly how they can add that to the business how they can you know take on the knowledge in the book and put it into action so think about doing things that way as again as i said you know sometimes one book isn't profitable if you are looking in maybe fiction or something like that think more like netflix think in box out series getting readers to go go from book to book to book but if you are maybe just stuck in your ways and say that's it i'm not writing another book 
think outside the book think about the different formats how more hands-on you can be and the more you can charge more money from that or even do talks or speeches as well too you know a lot of speakers are paid well for entertaining people or motivating them or explaining something to them how about that how about doing maybe some kind of you know on the on the road kind of um you know speaking business if you if that's what you were interested in again using the same content from the book but explaining in more detail and maybe motivating people more and charging more from it so as i said you know sometimes one book isn't very valuable and sometimes it is it depends the way that you play with the book so i hope you enjoyed me uh, in this video today if you'd like to ask me a question or like to know more about me you can send an email to barryjmcdonald at gmail.com or if you'd like to drop by my site which is big into uh, self-promotion and self-publishing and all the good stuff to do with books i have a lot of courses that i know will really really help you out if you're stuck at the moment if you want to come over to writecom.com that's w-r-i-t-e-c-o-m-e.com you'll find me and all my content over there so as always thanks for sharing your time with me again today and take care and have a great day bye bye